Hi, it's Drake Bridge of Obsidian Wisdom. Today we answer the question, how much social security can I expect to receive if I have a salary of $60,000, $80,000, $100,000, or even $120,000? We're gonna go through how to calculate these numbers. I'm doing a series on social security for you guys. You had asked for it, and we'll go over some of the information and some of the details so that you can calculate how much you can expect to receive. Now, if you don't wanna calculate the number, you can always just skip and I'll put a link to a video where I showed you just how to get your social security statement and they tell you what your estimated amount is. I do think it's beneficial for you to calculate it every so often because there are times that the social security administration will give you too much money. And when they realize it, they come knocking on your door to get the money back. It's in the fine print. They're allowed to get all of the money back. And this could be a significant amount depending on how long it takes them. And I'll do another video where I go over some of those numbers because it really will surprise you a little bit. And the way we'll start this is by discussing how much you'll pay in taxes. So the way it is said is you'll pay 6.2% of your salary, and that's what you'll be taxed for Social Security. And then the other 6.2% is paid by your employer, so that gives you the total of 12.4%. Now, if you're in business for yourself, a self-employed person, then your Social Security tax is that 12.4%. And you pay from both the employer perspective and the employee perspective, which is why you pay that total of 12.4%. Now, the way you calculate your Social Security benefit, and we'll go through it step-by-step, is you need to be of retirement age, and that's 62 years old. And then you take your average lifetime salary. And now you'll say, Dre, how do I get my average lifetime salary? What you'll do is you'll take your top 35 earning years, and then you adjust it for inflation, which is normally going to be roughly about 3%, but you can look it up. And I'll put a link to the COLA, which is the cost of living adjustment. And that's on the Social Security website. Now, if you haven't worked the 35 years, then what you'll end up doing is they'll put a zero in some of those years, which will lower the amount that you'll receive. But we'll assume that you have 35 years of earning and then you average that out. And the way you'll do that is you'll take whatever your average lifetime salary is and you'll multiply that by 35. If your average lifetime salary was $60,000 per year, then you'll have 2.1 million. If your average lifetime salary was $80,000 per year, then you'll have 2.8 million. If your average lifetime salary over the 35 years was $100,000 a year, then you have $3.5 million. And if your average lifetime salary was $120,000 per year, then you have $4.2 million. And again, all we did is we took your average lifetime salary that is adjusted for inflation, and we multiply that by 35. The next step is for you to take the total amount that we just calculated, and you want to be able to create your average index monthly earnings, and that's your AIME. So what you'll need to do is you will take the total amount and you'll divide it by 420. And that gives you what your average index monthly earnings is. The 420, the reason we do that is we're taking the total amount and then we're going to create a monthly amount. Well, if you take 35, the number of years that you've worked, and you multiply that by 12, the number of months in a year, that is how we got the 420. So if you take that 2.1 million and divide it by 420, that gives you an AIME of 5,000. If you take the 2.8 million divided by 420, that gives you an AIME of $6,667. If you do the 3.5 million, that gives you 8,333. And if you do the 120,000 or the 4.2 million, then that gives you a $10,000 AIME. Now, the reason that's important is because we need to have the AIME that we then put into what is called the Social Security bin points, which is a very fancy way of saying they're going to give you a certain percentage of your income at certain points of time. And the way that Social Security bin points work is the less money you make, the more you get to have a Social Security benefit. The more money you make, the less that you get. And so what happens is each year, the Social Security Administration gives us what's called the bin points. And so this year in 2024, the bin points are set where the first $1,174, you get to keep 90% of what your AIME is. So what's 90% of $1,174? That is $1,057. And that's going to be true for all four of the incomes. All four of the incomes has an AIME amount that is higher than that $1,174. And then we move on to the next bin point. It has a cap at $7,078 per month. And so the next thing we'll do is we'll say, all right, if I'm making $5,000 per month, that's my AIME, then if I subtract the $1,174 from it, that leaves me with $3,826. I then get to keep 32% of that amount, which is $1,224. Then when you move on to the $80,000 per year salary, what you'll do is you'll do the same thing. So you'll take the $6,667 and you'll subtract that $1,174. And again, because that amount is below the $7,078, then we know that the $5,493 that's remaining, that gets multiplied by 32%. 
which gives you $1,758, which again is how much you get to keep of that bracket. Now our next two where you make $100,000 per year and $120,000 per year on average, well that annual salary actually is above that $7,078 threshold. As a result, everything made over that amount, you only get to keep 15% of it for everything after that. And so the way it worked for the $100,000 per year person, you would then take $7,078 and subtract it from the $1,174, which was the last bin point where you got to keep 90% of your salary. That amount ultimately gives you $5,904 that you then get to keep 32% of that, which is $1,889. And I know, right, that's a pretty steep haircut, but 32% is all you get to keep of that bracket. And so then for the final bracket, what you'll do is you'll take the 8,333 and you'll subtract 7,078, and that leaves you with $1,255. Well, you get to keep 15% of that, which is only $188. Then when you do the $120,000 per year, you do the same thing. So you take the 10,000, you subtract it from 7,078, which then only leaves you $2,922, which again, you only get to keep 15% of that, which is $438. Isn't that crazy? I mean, these are really steep haircuts. And then the final step is to total the amounts at each of the bin points, and then that will give you an estimate of what your social security benefits could be. So for the person whose AIME is $5,000 per month, you have the $1,057 from the first bin point, you have $1,224 from the second bin point, which then gives you a Social Security monthly estimated payment of $2,281. For the $80,000 per year person, we have the same first bin point of $1,057. Your second bin point is $1,758, which then gives you a total Social Security estimated monthly payment of $2,814. And then when you move on to the $100,000 per year person, they have a monthly AIME of $8,333, and so the first bin point is the same as the rest, where you have $1,057. The second bin point is now maxed out, so you have $1,889. And then you have $188 left from the third bin point, which gives you $3,134 per month as your estimated Social Security benefit payment. Then when you move on to the final amount, where you have $120,000 per year, your first bin point is the same, so that's $1,057. Your second bin point is maxed out, just the same as the $100,000 per year person. So that gives you $1,889. And then your third bin point where you get 15% of that $2,922 left, well, that was $438. You add them together, you get $3,384. You can see where when you had a salary of $60,000 per year, Social Security was replacing 45% of your income. That number dropped to 42% when you made $80,000 per year. It dropped to 38% when you made $100,000 per year, and it dropped to 34% when you made $120,000 per year. The more that you make, the less that you actually get to receive. And that's largely because of that third bin point, you only get to keep 15% of your salary, which means the other 85% is gone, which is why the Social Security Administration will be the first to tell you the monthly income that you need in retirement, please do not rely solely on Social Security. And the reason is because the more that you make, the less that you're going to get. Even if you have a lower income where you get to receive 45% of your salary, that's not what most people need in their retirement plan. The numbers show that the average retiree needs about 80% of their current income as their retirement income, which means that you need to make up another 35% of your income, even if you're on the lower end. But as you make more money, you need to have half of your retirement income generated outside of Social Security. 